What's up, all my RC people? So, got another project coming up here. I got this J Concepts uh, 1993 Ford F-150 body for the SCX24 for Christmas. And I'm going to get it painted up and get it put on one and just start a whole new project. I think I'm just going to tear down probably the C-10 and see if I can do something with that. So, the body's really nice. I and mean, that's a really good quality body, about as good quality as any others I've ever seen. And it's got decently thick polycarbonate Lexan body. It's got a really nice, really nice thick to it. So it's it's not going to flex on you too much, I'm hoping. And it looks like they've pre-marked out the holes, which is really nice. And they marked out the holes in the back too, I do believe, so you can put the hinge mount on it. And they included masks. That's really good. And then they have a, a sticker set that has your grill and your taillights, headlights, and a bunch of J-Concepts stickers. Then looks like you got a few Ford stickers since it's a nice officially licensed body. Uh, I'm thinking I normally do a... I like to do the uh, the weathered look a lot, but I might go clean this time. I think I'm... Because this has such nice body panel lines. I think I might do the two-tone, maybe do the uh, the red with the white stripe. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look and see what paints I have and... Look at what colors I think will go good with it. Well, let me get that going, and I'll get back with you. All right, so in the meantime, while we're letting the paint dry and doing the different coats, I'll show you the rest of the stuff I've picked up for this build. So I've got a set of uh, Proline High Racks. I'm sure you're, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen me running them on the Betty here lately. They're actually for this build. I just wanted to try them out before I switched them over to these wheels. So I got these SSD wheels with uh, the brass rings around them. And they're aluminum wheels with the brass rings. And, oh, I think my RC four-wheel drive aluminum rims that are back here cost me $75. These ones are $25 for two, so $50 for all four. And they have some serious brass involved. So I think... Hopefully these are going to be the, the better rim to go with for price-wise and uh, performance, I'm thinking, as well. So it looks like it's just a simple three-piece beadlock. All you got to do is undo these five in the back, take it apart, put your center ring in, and smash the sides together. Those look like those are a really good-looking deep-dish wheel. And then I also picked up this Samix. Emax uh, servo, so our uh, servo holder. So this is gonna mount the servo with the larger, larger back end to it, which I'll be using this nine gram servo here. That's it's a flight test, but uh, I do believe they use Emax as their provider. So same thing. And so I'm gonna get those out and start getting that stuff together too while we're going. <laughs> 